Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series Collection Update video. Guys, it feels like it's been a long time since I've done one of these. I think in reality it's only been maybe a month and a half. But, you know, there's been a lot of other, you know, action figures that I've been collecting lately. And it's just been taking a long time for a lot of my Star Wars pre-orders to get here. So I've been trying to catch up on some of my other collecting until then. But, as you can see, I have a new lineup, or I guess you could say mostly old lineup, because some of these action figures are kind of on the newer side, some are on the older side. But, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling, and let's go ahead and get straight into it. And I have five action figures here today. We have the uh, Kira action figure from the Solo movie. We have uh, Vice Admiral Haldo. Hey, cut that out. We have the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 Jet Trooper, which I'm really excited about. We have um, the uh, Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. And we have... Um, what was his name again? No, I feel bad. Moth Gideon. Man, I, I, I'm sorry about Gideon. I don't know why I had a brain fart. I forgot your name. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and... and do a kind of like a quick overview of uh, pretty much the older figures, the Kira and the um, uh, Vice Admiral Haldo, primarily because, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't necessarily get these figures, these two figures right here because, you know, I necessarily wanted them for my collection. I actually got them for customs. I had a couple of custom ideas. Um, I had a stop motion idea that pretty much kind of revolves around custom action figures and I was on there's this website I think it's called Old Republic Collectibles they're on Instagram I might put a link uh, down in the description they have some pretty cool stuff on there but they had this Kira on their website and she was about like $6.99 so she was pretty cheap so I was like you know what go ahead and get her and to be honest it really is a pretty well made figure. Um, I remember I got the um, solo action figure whenever the solo movie came out and I also got Chewbacca but I didn't really care too much for them um, so I ended up getting rid of them but this Kira is a pretty well made figure. I like the like jacket design that they have for her and also I have a really nice bend on this arm. You can get the arm up there quite a bit but pretty much my custom idea kind of was I was going to pop this jacket and these uh, arms with the sleeves and probably try to like give her more like a sleeveless look which I'll probably be talking more about once I actually get around to making my custom video which I kind of keep talking about doing but there's been a lot of uh, setbacks mostly me killing action figures because I'm not used to making customs. <laughs> But all in all, a really nice figure. I'm not really going to mess her up too much. There's just like some altercations that I want to make to the figure. Just to make it look a little bit different. Now, what I'm really not sure what to do about is what to do with this Vice Admiral Haldo. Now you're probably wondering, well if you don't know what to do with the Vice Admiral Haldo, why'd you get her? Well, I went to a, a Roses. Um, and most of the time when I go to Roses, they don't really have like a lot of good action figures. But lo and behold, they had some Star Wars Black Series. And they had a bunch of um, Jar Jar Binks's. They also had a bunch of that, uh, that villain from Solo. I don't even remember his name. I'll probably put a little thing up there. And they also had a bunch of Vice Admiral Haldos, and they were like $7.99. So I was like, you know what? It's pretty cheap. I might go ahead and get this Vice Admiral Haldo. Maybe I can use maybe some pieces of her to make, you know, a character down the road. But until then, I'll go ahead and put her on my, you know, sequel shelf, which when it comes to my sequel shelf, it needs all the help it can get, you know? So I figure why not? But I actually do dig this kind of slightly softer um, material that they have like for the cape it looks like it's connected to the neck piece so I might be able to maybe use that for something 
I just figured that, you know, since the figure was so cheap, you know, I might as well go ahead and get her and maybe, you know, I can use her for something at some point. We'll see. But now that we're done with those older figures, let's go ahead and talk about <laughs> this uh, Star Wars Battlefront Jet Trooper, guys. I'm really digging the blue color on this figure. I'm really glad they decided to go with the blue one as opposed to the red one because uh, since I have this blue one, I can kind of mix him in with my, you know, 501st Legion, which is my favorite Legion. And I'm, I'm already planning on getting more of these 501st guys, so my Clone Wars shelf is primarily going to be, you know, a bunch of 501st Clone Troopers, but I really dig the blue on there and the special little design that like, goes on the uh, Clone Troopers helmets. I also like that the jetpacks, the jetpacks are pretty easy to take on and off. They have kind of a, a hexagon uh, shape on the back, but the jetpack peg itself is like a circle. But it still fits on pretty snug. I noticed that they have like these two other pieces on the back that kind of resemble um, Boba Fett's jetpack. I guess for a little extra you know, re uh, enforcement on the uh, back, but as you can see, there's nothing on the back right up here to stick this part into, but it doesn't really matter because it sticks on there pretty nice. And I was thinking that of playing around with this and seeing if there's any other action figures that like, have peg holes on their back that maybe the jetpack can fit into. But one thing that I found kind of interesting, guys, is I believe that this Clone Trooper's articulation is a little bit different when it comes to the old uh, Clone Trooper body and the new Clone Trooper body. Primarily the arms. Because if you notice on this Clone Trooper, the shoulder blade does not get in the way like the older one. But it's not necessarily because, like, see on this newer one? The shoulder blade is kind of made out of a softer material. That's not really the case with this new one. I mean, it is. Yeah, this is made out of a, like a little harder material, but the way that the extra figure is made, it just kind of goes into the torso, so it doesn't really hinder articulation that much. And also the bend, because um, this extra figure actually has a double joint, but it has a way better. Uh, bend than the old one. Look at that right there. But it's about just as good as the new one. So I feel like it's kind of like a slightly different scope. I'm really digging it. I feel like this is almost like a, a newer kind of uh, piece, but it's like on an older body. It's like the older Clone Trooper, but it's like done a little bit better with the articulation without having to put a single joint on there. I have kind of grown a little attached to the single joints. I don't think they look bad, but if you can kind of make it like this, make the double joint, but have like a way better bend on it and also be able to get the armor piece to go into the torso then I would prefer them to put it on the old body yeah like put it on the older clone body but make the articulation better kind of like this one if that makes any sense but yeah I really do like this uh, clone jet trooper effect I had a feeling I was gonna like it which is why I got two I might have ended up getting three, but that would have been a lot. So, speaking of getting a lot of something, we're going to go ahead and move on to a figure that I actually already have, but I I don't really feel like I did a... Well, actually, I did do a video on him. I did a video, like, way back whenever he first came out, and that is this uh, new... Uh, well, it's not really new. It's newer than the old Stormtrooper body that most of us remember and it's an older stormtrooper body that they still use in like exclusive and stuff sometimes but this is the kind of upgraded clone trooper body that a lot of people like and um it's the mandalorian uh stormtrooper i did do a video uh comparing this stormtrooper to the older body 
And I pretty much like this one better. I just wish that they came with like gun holsters like the old Stormtroopers did. But I pretty much wanted to prioritize army building these a little bit for the shelf. And as you can probably guess, I did buy a second one of these too. So now I have, all together I have actually three of these Stormtroopers that are gonna be on my Mandalorian shelf. I wanna at least maybe get two more to go on my um, original trilogy self, you know, with my Darth Vader and all that. Cause right now I really only have one uh, Stormtrooper up there. I used to have two, but if you watched my any of my stop motions, I dyed one of them for, you know, a stop motion and I kinda didn't wanna put it back on the shelf looking like that. <laughs> But, always good to have some more army builders. Um, I know I've actually been prioritizing army building the first order lately, and there's still some more first order that I want to get. But I decided to give the first order a break and, you know, go back to prioritizing the clones and the, you know, Imperial Stormtroopers. Speaking of the Empire, it's my last figure for today, and then we're going to head over to the shelf and put them up there, is Moff Gideon. Now, I primarily wanted Moff Gideon because he came with the Darksaber, because I wanted to give it to the Mandalorian, but seeing Moff Gideon with the Darksaber now, he looks kind of cool, so I'm not going to be in too much of a hurry to just give the Darksaber to either Bo-Katan or the Mandalorian. I'm going to go ahead and let Moff Gideon hold on to it for a little while, you know, because I feel like it makes him look cooler sitting there on the shelf with a sword as opposed to just standing there or holding a gun or whatever but I really do like the face sculpt and uh, the articulation on this figure is pretty good um, I also really like the way they did the cape the cape it doesn't really rest all the way on the shoulders it's actually just like this one little peg that you can see right here and you stick it into the back and it's actually very snug. It's a square shaped uh, peg hole. So it actually fits on him really well. But I wanna go and pop that off a little bit just so I can you know, talk about the articulation a little bit more. Now he has some pretty good uh, articulation in the head. It is a little stiff like when he tries to look up and down because the back of the head kinda hits the neck there. But when it comes to Moff Gideon, I don't really know how many head poses you want to get him into. Also really like the ball joint and the torso is also really good. He does have kind of like softer rubber uh, shoulder guards so you can get his arm up there a pretty good way. Single jointed elbows which is like how for most of the action figures for the Black Series now. Also has the upper swivel in the torso, single jointed legs, and that good old ankle pivot. So. All around, really glad that I went ahead and got this uh, Moth Gideon. I think I got him from Dorkside Toys. They were having a sale. And I was like, well, I get to go ahead and get Moth Gideon and save a little bit of money. So I'll go ahead and get him. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for my rundown of my figures. So let's go ahead and move over to the shelf and put these guys up there. All right, guys, I went ahead and put uh, the different action figures on the respected shows. Down here, we have the Vice at Mojaldo, who I decided to just, you know, put on my shelf until I figure out exactly what I want to do with her. So she's gonna go ahead and stay right there. Let's go ahead and move up to the Mandalorian shelf. And there you can see my new Moth Gideon, and I got an extra Stormtrooper up there. Now I did tell you guys that I have three. I'm probably gonna put the third one up there a little later. But yeah, Mandalorian stuff. I said stuff. Mandalorian shelf still needs some work. Um, I still got a couple more figures that I'm gonna put up here. I still haven't got my Fennec Shan yet or my uh, uh, Mandalorian Boba Fett. So I'm still waiting for them to get here, but. When they do, I'll go ahead and add those guys onto the shelf. Now let's go ahead and move up to, over here to my equally as small clone shelf. 
and it probably would be a little bit bigger but I do have a couple of clones over here on my prequel shelf uh, and there is my clone jet trooper I'm probably gonna put the other one up there later also and give him like a different weapon just to make it look a little different and last but not least guys I went ahead and left my Kira over here just because I don't really know where she would fit. She's my only solo action figure from the solo movie. And on top of that, I already have an idea of what I want to do with her custom-wise. So you're probably not going to see this character again until I make that stop motion that I was uh, alluding to. Not really going to talk much about it. Pretty much it's just, you know my custom action figures taking front and center. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Uh, comment down below uh, which of these action figures you like the most. I'm personally gonna have to go with the clone trooper, the jet clone trooper. Definitely my favorite out of this bunch. And um, be sure to follow me on my Instagram as I'll stay updated when I have plans to upload a video as well as see exclusive photos like of these action figures here that you will not see in my videos. Alright guys, until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and go to my channel to check out other videos. Catch you later.